This intercession is taking place at Cumber, County Down, in the north of Ireland. And its significance is that two rivers coming together, one there representing the Holy Spirit and here representing the Word of God, whichever way round we have it. And then on the other side, we have them joining together, the Word of God and the Spirit of God coming together, as in the prophecy given to Smith Wigglesworth just before the dear Lord took him to himself. And have some scriptures from Psalm 24, verses 3 to 5. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord, or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not sworn up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessing from the Lord, and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Now what is that verse? It's revival! Revival, the moving of God, the moving of the Spirit of God coming down. And the prayer too, oh the cry from Isaiah 64, the first verse. Oh that thou wouldst rend the heavens, that thou wouldst come down, that the mountains might flow at thy presence. As when the melting fire burneth, the fire causeth the waters to boil, to make thy name known to thine adversaries, that the nations may tremble at thy presence. When thou didst terrible things, which we looked not for, thou camest down, the mountains flowed down at thy presence. And the promise of the dear Lord Jesus Christ to the disciples just before he ascended into heaven. St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 24 and the 49th verse. And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endured with power from on high. Almighty God, Thou art the God of heaven and the God of earth. And in these days, You are moving. You are moving, O God. And the cry is unto Thyself that Thou wouldst rend the heavens and come down. Come down in all Thy, thy power and all Thy glory. But who are You going to come down to? You're going to come upon those who know that they're nothing. Those who are humble of spirit and pure in heart. Those whose hands are clean and hearts are pure. That just as you gave to the psalmist. And that, uh, that revival, that move, that last move of thy great spirit on the Isle of Lewis in 1949. Oh, the cry had gone up through those dear, dear ones, Christine and Peggy Smith, and those elders, that they believe their God. They believe that you will not deny. And when the conditions are met, then you will answer, and you will calm down. Not these modern so-called revivals, which are of Lucifer, those which seek to put men and women in front of thyself. But the move of thy spirit, which brings the spirit down, brings the spirit into the hearts of, the, of those who seek thy face. O oh God, I cry unto thee on the basis that thy word says, that you shall rend the heavens and come down. And the Lord Jesus, he told the disciples to wait. And they did wait. They obeyed thee. And at the right moment on the day of Pentecost, the Holy Ghost came down. 
and uneducated ones were so filled with thy spirit that the religious ones were utterly and completely confounded and they could do nothing with Peter and John. And there were thousands, religious ones, who came and accepted the Lord Jesus, the Son of God. And in these days, oh God, as illustrated here, these coming together, the Word and the Spirit of God. You did not give that prophecy to Smith Wigglesworth for nothing. And it is upon my heart that this is the time for the birthing of, of this prophecy, the coming together of the Word and the Spirit of God. And those who resist amongst the reformists, the reformed who resist the Holy Spirit, then bypass them, O oh God, and take of those who will obey thy word, those who will give thee the glory. And I'm going now this to the fulfillment because it is upon my heart that in this intercession it is a fulfillment of the coming together of the Word and the Spirit because at this side we see not two but one one completely one the wholeness of Christ within each individual who has received him as Saviour and as Lord and has the Word of God within them the living word which is the Lord Jesus Christ and the written word which is thy word the word of the Antioch line and those of the Alexandra line let them go to hell fire because they will not obey God they refuse thee just like the Pharisees refuse thee these are the ones the Pharisees of this day and only those, go oh God, who will put thee first and last and all that is in between, that you will take of them the nothings of this world and pour thy spirit upon them and set them on fire, filled with the Holy Ghost and with fire, that men and women shall go forth, filled with both the Word of God and the Spirit of God, and they will take thy word take it to the byways and the highways and those places way out into the wilds the unforgotten ones unforgotten ones Lord even for the Isles of Scotland the Roman Catholic Islands and they'll be going at some time and bringing down that which has for years held back the move of the spirit amongst the Roman Catholic islands, that dreadful statue of the counterfeit Mary, and that has to crumble. And with it will be the opening of the whole of the British Isles for the move of thy spirit on, as has never been seen before. And praise the O God that this is the breakthrough here. It cumber counted down the start of that move of thy spirit bringing together the remnant of Christ who will put all things aside and put thee first and last and will work together this nonsense of not wanting to work with others because of some pet pet doctrine or something of the pride of their hearts has to go otherwise cast them aside O oh God and yours those who will have their lives holy upon the altar as living sacrifices unto thyself that they want nothing from this world only that you shall have the glory and the kingdom of God will be completely fulfilled and the way opened 
for the return of thy beloved one at his second coming, because his bride will be ready, that out of every kindred, tribe and nation shall come those who have been redeemed through the blood of the Lamb and have been filled with the Spirit of God. And with that faith, that identical faith of thy beloved one, the Lord Jesus Christ, I say unto thee, it is done now for thy glory. In the Spirit I can see it coming, and it will coming. It will come, it will not tarry, because you have to have the glory. Through Jesus Christ, his blood, and his resurrection, his glorification, the one seated at thy right hand, who has all authority in heaven and upon earth. Amen.